hi everyone so in today's video we will have a look on this uh, break keyword and how we can use the break keyword with the while loop so in the last video we had a look on how we can use the continue keyword so i think you can remember that if you don't remember just go and watch the video and come back so that uh, you will be easily catching it up right so uh, what we can say is uh, as you all know so uh, this is a very simple coding that uh, we have already seen so we simply uh, take x value and y value and we increment the x from 0 to uh, 5 right and we add this total uh, cumulative addition of the x that means 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and we display it as a total value right so that means we uh, store the total value in, 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 in something called sum so sum is increased in each and every iteration right you know that right because in the last video i explained this if you don't understand go and watch the last video and come back okay so now um i already last video in the video i said okay if, as you all know so how the while loop is working so it start from here to here number 11 to 240 and only when the while becomes false it goes out of the while loop until that it will be rotating inside the while loop itself right you know those things all those things i have already thoroughly explained all those things so now also i said okay if, if if i want to skip a particular iteration right so then we can use the continue keyword i said you right we can use an if and also we use we can use a continue keyword right so let's say if i want to skip the number three to be added into the sum i can skip it using a continue keyword if you don't understand go and watch the last video and come back so simply asking what does a continue keyword means is continue keywords is skipping a particular iteration okay so the while loop is going to iterate from 0 to 5 means minimum 6 times okay so if we start from 1 so we can start from 1 itself because we don't need to add 0 because adding 0 is same as adding uh, not adding anything right so we can start from 1 let's say x is equal to 1 so uh, from 1 to 5 we are going to take the cumulative uh, addition right 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 okay so 3 plus 3 6 4 10 15 right so that's fine so this will return us 15 right i already explained this so now let's say uh, i already said in the continue key, continue keyword someone wants to avoid the number 3 to be added right <coughs> only number 3 so someone wants 1 2 4 5 to be added like uh, right so that that came the that gave the results as 12 anyway they want to avoid the number 3 so for that they can use the continue keyword so that they can skip that particular addition iteration right so now let's say i want to do something like this okay let's say i want to stop this addition when it hits the number three okay or let's say number four right so i'm, I'm what i'm going to do is uh, not number four <coughs> let's stop at number three what i'm going to do is if it is number three if it is number three earlier what i did I skip the particular iteration right only that iteration will be skipped and from the number four the iteration will continue right uh, why, why is this thing coming number four iterations will be continuing but now what I am going to do is if it is hitting the number three I am going to stop the while loop the while loop is not going to iterate thereafter okay so if I use the continue keyword what happens is number three is being skipped but again for number four while loop is iterating so you can see it in the last video right so what I am going to do is now if it hits a number 3, I don't want the while loop iterate thereafter. I want to get out of the while loop. So I'm not going to skip only the particular iteration. I'm going to stop skip all the iterations after that. From that point, we are not we are stopping the while loop. We are getting out of the while loop. Okay, we don't care. We are not skipping that particular iteration. What we are going to do is there are no more iterations after that. We stop it. So you may ask if number 3 is coming, then you are going to skip, right? So why do you have this number 5 here? You can have it plus 3 or 2, like, right? So if we are going to skip number 3, then we are going to add number 1 and 2, right? Simply talking. So you can have the number 2 value here. So you don't need to have a break even. Yes or no? If I am skipping, when the value x value becomes number 3, that means what? 1 plus 2 only added to the sum. When it hits to number 3, we skip it and we come to the line. So 3 will be printed. 3, 4, 5 will not be added, right? So the sum 1 plus 2, 3 will be printed here, right? So you may ask that. That's correct. But why I am telling you is just for the understanding. So easily understanding. So that is why I am adding this. So what I am going to do is if it is hitting, if x is coming as number 3, 
we are stopping the while 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 loop or we are cancelling the while loop and we are getting out of the while loop okay so how do we do is it's very simple first i will write the condition <coughs> what is the condition the same condition if okay x is number 3 So if I use continue, what will happen? Simply talking, uh, it will skip only the particular iteration, and it will it has to go for the next iteration, right? So if I am using continue continue keyword, I am adding that x plus plus also before that, right? Because I want to make the x to be incremented. That then only it will be go go to number four, right? So before skipping it, because the rest will be skipped. So you can go and watch the last video if it is confusing you. Then you will understand what I am telling you about, right? so you can give continue so this will skip only the number 3 but what i want to happen is um i want to cancel the whole iteration thereafter i i don't want to have any any iteration to have, to be happening so i don't have to, want to have a increment scenario because why i am having an increment here is for continue keyword i want to, the next iteration to happen right x is equal to 4 should happen x is, x is equal to 5 should happen but here what i want what i want to happen is i don't want the while loop iterating thereafter i am cancelling everything and i am going to this line out of the while loop so i don't have to increment this right because i don't want to get into the while loop again what's the point the while loop is not going to run again so i don't want to make the 3 into 4 when it hits the 3 we cancel everything and come out of it. okay so i remove everything so what is the keyword for that we have a keyword called break so what the break will do is simply talking the same meaning it will break the while loop previous one what it will do is it will skip the particular iteration and it will continue the while loop that is why it is called continue now what we are going to do is we are going to break the while loop so what i will do is i will say break so in this point the while loop is broken and what is the starting point of the while loop line number 11 ending point of the while loop is line number 70 so while loop will break means what we will come out of the while loop and we will immediately move to the line number 18 okay so at that point we will print the sum value so if you are seeing the scenario initial x value is 1 So x is less than or equal to five means one is less than or equal to five is true. So we get into this. We check the if condition. It is false. So we don't get into the if condition. We add the sum is equal to sum plus x. So the current sum is. I already said the right side values are current values. Left file side values are new values. So current sum is zero. Zero plus one, one. The total is one. You understand this, right? So the sum is one, and we increase the x by one. So the current x is one. Now x is two. One plus one, two. So that also again, when we come to the while loop, two is less than five is true. We come here inside. If x is less than if x is equal to three or not, no, it is not equal to three because two x value is two. So we get not don't get into the if condition, and we add this sum plus x. So the current sum value is one because I already said it. So the new x value is two. So one plus two, the new value is three. New sum value is three. So this is sum value, not a, not the x value. X value is two now. So x is incremented <laughs> by one. So two plus one three again. This while loop is true because three is less than or equal to five, and we come here and we see three is equal to three. So that means this is true. So we get into the if condition and we break the while loop. Okay. So what we do is we simply jump out of this place and go go to the end of the while loop here, and we will come out of the while loop and print the sum value. So what is the current sum value we have three. So the number three will be printed. Okay. So this is how the breaking scenario happens. So you may ask me. <coughs> you may ask me what is the point right uh, uh, because i i use this number 3 scenario just to explain you the break break while loop okay so where we can actually use it use it so let's say <coughs> let's uh, uh, let's say you are taking uh, values from an array okay so don't think what if i am asking you if uh, you can ask me what is array so just say uh, set of values you are stored in a memory location uh, a set of value like number 10 number 15 number 20 like that you are stored somewhere right so let's say user is entering the um, sorry i'm i'm wrong so uh, let, let, let's keep it let's say uh, an led is uh, blinking continuously right meanwhile you are taking the input from a switch you know how to take the input from the switch right i told you the digital input all the businesses so uh let's say the led is continuously blinking only when the switch is uh what do you call uh, uh pressed okay so not not one led let's say a series series number of leds are blinking using a while loop you are blinking a 
the series number of LEDs from 10 to 15, 10 to 15, right? Number 10, 11, 13, 14, 15 are blinging. Again, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15 are blinging. Then what you do is, you meanwhile, within the while loop, you're reading a switch as well. So when the switch is pressed, you have to stop the while loop and stop all these LEDs uh, to be uh, at, the, at the current point, okay? No, not making everything off, holding it at the current point. So that means what? Let's say third LED is one to third LED is blinging, fourth and fifth LEDs are not blinging, but user has pressed switch. So that means you have to stop the while loop, right? So that means 1, 2, 3 should be on, 4 and 5 should be off. So that we can see when the 3 is uh, lighting, the user has pressed the switch. You understand what I'm telling? So at that scenario, what we have to do is, if you are iterating the iterating the LEDs using a while loop, if the user presses the while loop, a particular whatever we call um, pin or switch, we break the while loop. That means the scenario is stopping. It comes out of the while loop. So 3 LEDs are already on, that will be on because we don't switch off it. Other 2 will not be switched on. You understand what I'm telling? So uh, it doesn't have to be actually this way. We can have many scenarios, but I'm saying one simple scenario because if you are iterating a lot of LEDs, if a switch is press, user is pressing a switch, you have to hold it at the same place. You have to hold the process at the same place. Means you, you use a while loop, you break the while loop when the uh, button is pressed. That means what do happened is happened. We came out of the while loop. So number one plus two added, number three has come like that. If three LEDs are on, it stopped at the down point, it come, came out. The rest will be off. So if you don't understand, just don't worry what I'm talking about. If you understand only this scenario, so using break keyword, we can break the loop itself. We can come out of that. We can cancel the iteration thereafter, right? Uh, if you understand that, and if you understand this code, that is enough for today, right? So um, thanks guys, thanks for joining. Uh, uh, joining, thanks for um, uh, watching. Uh, please provide your feedback, and I will catch you up in the next video. And please uh, subscribe and uh, press the bell button as well. Okay, I'll catch you up in the next video guys. Until then, have a great day ahead. Bye.